Flying in zero visibility presents a significant challenge for pilots, but modern technology and rigorous training have made it possible to land aircraft safely under such conditions. The primary tool that enables pilots to navigate and land in low visibility is the Instrument Landing System ILS. This system provides precise horizontal and vertical guidance to ensure that the aircraft remains aligned with the runway. In addition to ILS, many aircraft are equipped with Autoland technology, which allows the plane to land automatically, significantly reducing the pilot's workload during these challenging conditions. Pilots undergo extensive training to master these systems, including simulations of low visibility scenarios and emergency procedures, ensuring they are prepared for any situation that may arise during landing. When visibility drops to near zero, pilots rely on specific approach categories defined by the International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. These categories, such as CAT-T2 and CAT-3, set minimum visibility requirements and dictate the technology needed for safe landings. For instance, CAT-3 approaches can allow landings with no visibility at all, provided the aircraft is equipped with the necessary systems and the pilots are trained to use them. However, while technology has advanced to support these operations, not all aircraft are certified for the most extreme conditions, and pilots must always be ready to take manual control if necessary. In summary, pilots can successfully land in zero visibility conditions, thanks to advanced technologies like ILS and Autoland systems, combined with rigorous training and adherence to strict operational categories. This ensures that even in the most challenging weather, safety remains the top priority. If you found this information insightful, consider subscribing to our channel for more aviation content and updates. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode.